us. We're back with another vlog. We have come here today to Cambridge to the Midsummer Common for the Midsummer Fun Fair, which is on from the 21st, which is today, until the 25th of June, which is Sunday. Now the fair opens from 5 p.m. onwards weekdays from 12 p.m. onwards at the weekend. So it's only on for five days, so if you can get yourselves down here, I thoroughly recommend it. I've never done this one before, so quite exciting. So let's have a look around and see what's on the ground. So we've got a Mr. Frosty ice cream van. <laughs> Always a good start. Frozen dairy confectionery. So yeah, we've got a market here as well, which um, I'm not sure whether, I'm guessing that's the market. Yeah, we've got Thursday, which is tomorrow, which by the time you see this vlog will be Thursday, £1.50 night, except booster dodgems, bungees and water boats and balls. Okay, so not a bad bargain there. Fun Day Sunday includes face painting and characters, and as you can see, it's from the 21st to the 25th. So there you go, there's the fair information. Right, let's see what's around on the ground then. Just trying to avoid these bicycle people. There are a lot of bikes in Cambridge. A lot of bikes. <laughs> now, I wanted to come to this last year, but there were train strikes last year, so I couldn't go. It was just too much of a pain to get here on the bus. We, of course, have got um, Edwards Helter Skelter. We, of course, saw that at Eaton Park a little while ago. Um, of course, this lovely supercar slip. I absolutely love this thing. We always get to see it. What else have we got? We've got a star flyer called the Euro Flyer. No, I <coughs> excuse me. Just trying not to choke on my own saliva there. Um, I have got a list of who owns what back at home. I can't remember who owns what here at the moment, but I will <laughs> obviously share that information with you on the videos. I'll put a list in the description as well of what's here too. We've also got this cool monster truck thing here as well. Some fun and games, win some big animals. Now I know who this belongs to. This is Charles Appleton's arcade. It's good to see he's here. And we've got this Stratosphere Booster. Well, this belongs to Perrin Prince, I've discovered. And uh, Slothy Vlogs recently went on this as well, a fair somewhere. And they said it was amazing, so definitely take their word for that. Oh, look what we got here. It's Wesley's King Loops, the only one of its kind in the UK. We've also got a Twister here. I've never seen this one before, but I will look up who the owner is. Uh, this one looks like a PWS one, but I don't think, know if it is. I'm not sure it is, actually. Something about the car that says it isn't. Yeah, nice machine. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. We've got bungees for the kiddies. We've got a Thomas and Friends train ride. How cute is this? Oh. We've also got a runaway train here. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that might be made by Supercar. I'm not sure. But anyway nice little Thomas train ride. We've got Richard Hart's Thriller, which is a ride we often see on our travels, along with the King Loops. The King Loops, I, once again, <laughs> does not appear to be running yet. The fair has only just opened. It's only been open for about 25 minutes. <clears throat> uh, let's keep walking this way. We've got a uh, kiddies formula thing there. There's some market through there as well. Oh, look at this. Here's one for all of the fair geeks. Check out this ERF lorry. There's a little train going there. Push around the little noises. Ah, noisy. Nice ERF C-series truck there with a Gardner engine in it. We love gardeners. So what else have we got along here? We have got a hook of dark. There's a kiddie slide. We've got one of these moonwalk things, which we don't see these much now local showman used to have one called the Disney Dome but he doesn't seem to travel with it anymore. We've got a crazy croc or a go gator that doesn't appear to be running at the moment it's got covers on it. We've got the kiddies boats there. We've got the spinner disc too. Walter. Um, I have completely forgotten who manufactures this Walter. It's kind of a one of a kind. It's made by 
somebody, oh, I can't remember who made it. Um, it's a really nice machine, a very unique machine as well. I think the original spinner disc was a Maxwell, but this is a brand new, gorgeous looking machine. We'll get some off-road of that later. We've got another classic lorry here, an ERF EC10. Uh, probably belongs to this ride, which is an NA Super Ride Superstar. And it belongs to Scarrots. Um, what else have we got? We've got another Formula Ride over there. We've got a Samba Balloons for the kiddies. There's no way you're gonna get me on that. I would be sick. I've already been sick a week ago with a bug. The last thing I want to be doing is being sick on a ride. We've got a thing here, but it's not inflated yet. We've got some Dodgems. I'm not sure whose they are. They look like Bertazon Berlins, which is a Dodgem I've not been on before. Um, pretty much all Bertazon Dodgems are the same chassis. They've all just got slightly different shells with different names. These are the Berlin. The Berlin has the sort of curved stripe up the side, and it also says Berlin on the rear number plate there as well. So. Berlin's, we'll have to go on those. I don't know how much they are, probably a fiver or something. We've got Mark Thurston's Chaos KMG Freakout. This is an awesome machine. This will probably be going to Sheringham in a couple of, perhaps in a month or in a bit. Um, that's a fair I'm not going to do this year, but this will be coming back to Norfolk in August. So, what oh my, we've got another Matterhorn. Wow. It's got white cars on it. <laughs> this is a Sovimo one, not a brother shot. And it's called the Terminator. Um, I've seen this on Slothy Vlogs and PT Vlogs, I think, before. I'm not sure who the owner is, but it's nice. No, I'm not. I'm going to give that a miss, I'm afraid. We've also got a fun house there as well, a claw machine. <coughs> and. Wyatt's Waltzer. This is a Lakin Waltzer and it's a gorgeous one as well. Very well is respected and appreciated machine in this region. Oh wow, that music's so loud. And we've got, um, is it Joel Bunn who owns this? Joel Bunn. This is a Luna Park Tagada that I've recently discovered. Very nice machine. We saw this in Yarmouth. Um, this has just recently been somewhere else, I think. I think, I can't remember where it's just been, but I know some famous vloggers have just looked at it recently. But anyway, we've got another booster here. This one's a Fabry booster. The other one over there, that one's a KMG. Uh, this one's a Fabry one. It's called Vertigo. But yeah, if you're brave enough to go on these, not me, I absolutely cannot stand wait to see. And look what we got here. Jonathan Gray's Extreme is here. So a piece of Norwich is here along with me. <laughs> what else have we got? Extreme. Now I've forgotten who owns this. I will look, as I say, I'll, I'll look up the owners and everything. It's not running at the moment. Um, it's got no staff on it. The lights are all switched off. The generator's not on. Um, but yeah, this is a six arm Tivoli Extreme Remix machine. And it looks pretty cool. Again, not my cup of tea. Have you noticed? The cars or seats seem to be manufactured by KMG, which I always think is quite quite weird. We've also got water balls, there's kiddies, dodgems, or bumper cars with a Z. Another book of duck, there's a fun house here, and some more dodgems, and more birds on Berlins. <laughs> the second set we've seen today. There's some more monster trucks. Um, these ones belong to John Scarrett and Sons, which is a showman who doesn't go quite near my neck of the woods, so it's nice to see these ones. Oh no, they've got lap bars! I hate lap bars on Dodgems! And I'll tell you why. They are the most useless safety feature ever. If you hit someone head on, or you pull out the wall, you're going to still hit the steering wheel. The seat belts are better because they stop you headbutting the steering wheel. I absolutely cannot stand lap bars. Oh, I'm going to have to try them though. I'll come all this way. We've got Morris's Frogs here as well. That was at uh, Thunderworld in Norwich. We've got another Hook the Duck. More bungees. There's a food place there. And we'll just go back a bit. Yep, that's my name, 
name, don't worry now. But uh, someone else happens to have the same name as me, that's quite funny. There's a big kiddies formula ride here. And just hiding here is an old school Latwa. Crazy frog time. Yes, I will not be going on that. This is called Pure Adrenaline. Uh, who makes this? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm saying it's a Nottingham one, but an older Nottingham one. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that one up. I think it's a Nottingham one. Uh, Nottingham UK, that is. Anyway, let's walk back this way. Because we're now behind Richard Hart's thing. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. A lot of stuff. <laughs> and Morris's Ventura Simulator is also here as well that we saw at Thunderworld. Very old school machine that. So we've got some food here as well and there are toilets here as well apparently. I haven't seen them yet but they're around somewhere. We've got another Twister. This one is a Sonicase Mark III. I've not been on a Sonic Case Mark III, I've been on a Mark I, a Mark Mark III. Mark I is what Larry Gray's travel with. This is a Mark III one. It's nice, isn't it? I might go on one of the twisters, but I don't know if I'll go on both of them. Um, I've got a ghost train as well. I've never been on a ghost train on any of my vlogs yet. And it's not a bad price either, £2.50. Um, that's quite an old-fashioned one, isn't it? Is it a supercar one? Do you know, I swear that used to come to Norwich back in the day, that one. I swear it did. Uh, anyway, we have another waltzer. Uh, this one is just called Walter. Disco Walter. Um, who is, is this? I can't say I've seen it before. It's quite an old one. It's either a Leakin or a Maxwell, isn't it? Disco Walter. Lovely though, it's got nice old school artwork on it. It's all the hand painted as well. That's what I like to see. Um, the Crazy Fun House, that's here too, next to the ghost train. We've got more bungees. Oh, are they the ones we saw earlier? I'm not sure, I don't know where I am. We're, we're back at the beginning now. We have to got Edward's little juvenile thing there too. And Perrin Prince Tornado 2 KMG 3K out. Wow! We've also got a little kiddies chair, a plane as well. So, yeah, that's basically what's here. Um, and we're back where we started. So there is a lot of stuff here. Now there's food and stuff down here, market and stuff down here. You can see there's like pillows and things for sale, buckets. Um, so yeah, this is the market. It also extends further down there, I believe. So um, yeah, so we've got a market here as well so if you fancy having a bit of a shop as well as a ride there are things to buy here so that's cool there are some toilets over there actually i think that must be the toilets um but yeah this is the fair so lots here guys if you can come down come down and have a drive there's a lot of stuff here um, a lot of stuff i'm determined to find out what make that waltz is <laughs> I don't know if it is a Maxwell, is it? I don't think it is. I don't know. It's an old one, I know that, but I'm not sure of the brand. I'll have to look it up. If I figure out who it belongs to, then I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description. As I say, it's quiet at the moment because it is only just open, but it will get busy later, I'm sure. So yeah, get yourselves down here. Come and check out the fair. And we'll do some off-ride and some on-ride if we can of some of the attractions. So, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. It's really noisy here. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. And there'll be more videos in the playlist with this one of what's going on here. So, we'll check that later. More rides. And so, <laughs> so, I'm so overwhelmed really with what's here. It's so, so busy. Um, I was recommended this anyway, but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and um, we'll do some on-ride and some off-ride of definitely the Dodge. So I might do one twist, I don't know if I'll do them both, I've got a huge amount of cash on me. Um, I'll get some food, some drink and um, hang around for a bit and then I'll head back home. But in the meantime, don't forget to uh, check out my playlist and you'll find all 
videos on there.